Oh man, I totally got this. Gonna get the flag. We totally win. Red guy's gonna totally kick blue guy's ass. Oh shit, here I go. Holy fuck. Yeah, got the flag! Woo! Awesome! Ah, oh, fuck! Halo since the beginning and I've loved mostly every single game that they've come out with. I'm also a huge fan of Red vs. Blue. You ever wonder why we're here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Why are we here? I mean, are we the product of some cosmic coincidence or is there really a god watching everything, you know, with a plan for us and stuff? I don't know, man, but it keeps me up at night. What? Huge fan! Love Red vs. Blue! Halo 4 takes place exactly four years after Master Chief and Cortana drift off into space after saving the human race from the Covenant in Halo 3. Cortana wakes up Master Chief from his deep cryo sleep to alert him of the new threat against humanity and the galaxy. Cortana and Master Chief end up on a planet called Requiem, where they engage in Halo 4's new protagonist, the Diaduct, who John inadvertently releases from his imprisonment. The Diaduct is then supported by the Storm Covenant and also a new race called the Prometheans, and he's set out to achieve his evil goals with first attacking the Infinity. Once you start playing the campaign of Halo 4, your mind is fucking blown with the first cutscene. 343 Industries did such an amazing job with the graphics, my jaw dropped at least several times while I was playing the campaign. Unbelievable. Basically saying is that the graphics in Halo 4 are in fucking incredible. The campaign and storyline are quite amazing as well, especially the love story between Master Chief and Cortana, and also fighting the new race called Prometheans and the new protagonist named the Diaduct. The campaign, as always with Halo, is a bit short. Even on Legendary, most people can probably finish the entire campaign in less than 10 hours. It's hard to find a pussy who can take a punch. Still, the campaign is absolutely amazing and it might even make you tear a little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> the only thing is, is that with each mission, you always have to run around and disable shields or press some critical button that will completely kill us all and then you run away and it, just, it seems like a little bit of a tactic to make the campaign run a little bit longer. Each mission is different from the next, with different atmospheres, different music, which is awesome, so it never seems repetitive. One of the missions in the campaign felt like I was playing a scene from Tron. If you played that scene already, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. There is loads of achievements and collectibles, such as the hidden terminals, that shows you a little bit more of the storyline. The only thing is, is that you can't watch these clips while you're in the campaign. You actually have to leave and go into your main menu, to your waypoint, to check these out, which completely takes you out of the experience and fucking sucks. The music in Halo 4 composed by Neil Divage is something to be heard as well. If you just stop and listen to the background music, you may just see angels flying out of your eyeballs, because it's that amazing. while playing and during cutscenes are really well done and actually makes you feel like you're right there. Fuck the police. The only thing I really hated about them was the Star Wars looking watcher things that guarded the skull faces. Fucking pain in the ass. The multiplayer is what Halo has always been known for and 343 Industries made sure that with Halo 4, that reputation still stands strong. With 10 stellar stages and 3 additional Forge built battlegrounds and fantastic vehicles, it doesn't leave you disappointed. You can be a unicorn, yay! There is also a new mode called Spartan Ops, which is a free 50 minute downloadable series that you can play cooperatively or on your own with a storyline. It 
Should be interesting to see how that one pans out. I love the music and the amazing graphics. I also love that they added a new race, and that they actually have a protagonist, and the all around new freshness to the Halo series. I also love all the little tweaks to the multiplayer modes, even though I absolutely suck at multiplayer. Capture the Flag is still one of my favorites. We are the champions, my friends, and we'll keep on fighting until the end. Bum, bum, bum. I didn't like the fact that the hidden terminals completely takes you out of the experience in order for you to check them out, and you couldn't just see them while you're playing the campaign. The Spartan Ops seem really short and doesn't really seem to flow with the rest of the campaign storyline. The campaign was really short as always, but absolutely amazing. And there wasn't a huge variety with the enemies, and I fucking hated the goddamn Watchers. Halo 4 blew me away in every sense of the word, and I'm really glad that 343 Industries made sure that the Halo series stands strong. Thank you for taking the time to actually develop a game, instead of it rushing it out like everyone else does. The campaign storyline definitely left us with some unanswered questions, but I'm really hoping that with Halo 5, all that will be answered. And for that, I give this game a 10 out of 10. It was absolutely brilliant. Some of you might not agree with me, but I fully fell in love with the Halo series all over again. Thanks for watching my review. Subscribe to my channel, The Nerdy Netty. Follow me on Twitter at Nerdy Netty. Like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Nerdy Netty. And check out my website, TheNerdyNetty.com. Check you later, homies. Master Chief can beat up Chuck Norris. <laughs>